Hi, I'm Harry Legg. I'm a student of Richard Clears, and my school is New Jersey Tai Chi, which is located in the Jersey burbs of New York City. So what I'd like to talk about today is one of the 36 primary jings, root. There's a huge body of study and training just on root. To train your root, you're going to need depth and you're going to need volume. So one of the things that you can do with root is something called T Fung. T is for lifting, as in lifting their root. Fung would be releasing like releasing a bird and letting it fly away. Okay, so we'll stand in Clear's internal push hands position, which is Wu Chi. And by the way, I'll explain more about this toward the end of the video. All right, so we'll just connect here. And just to show, I will move him through his shoulders. Okay. And now through the waist or hips. There we go. All right. And now I'll use T-Fung. And I'll reach down through his feet and I'll feel underneath his root, and I will lift and release from there. Does that feel different than the shoulders and the hips? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So one of the things with this is it's very hard to show internal skill on camera. It doesn't translate super well. You are, of course, best to get with an instructor or a practitioner so that you can feel it directly. So I'll try to show it a different way. Let's uh, do the traditional push hand stance. All right, so we'll just uh, flow for just a moment. Okay, so say we're right here, and for the purpose of demonstration only, you're going to give me a little resistance, and I'll, a little resistance, <laughs> and I'll move you through your shoulders. So there's what that looks like. All right, we'll come back. Here's through your hips. And now I'll reach down through your feet. I will feel underneath your root, and I will lift and release. Do that again feel different? Yeah. Okay, so again, the internal skills can be very difficult to show on video. You really need to get with an instructor or a practitioner that can do the internal skills so you can feel it through direct transmission. But here's what's happening in T-Fung. So let's say this is my root. Here's my partner's root. I'm reaching through the feet and I'm sinking under their root. And then I'm lifting them and releasing. Okay, so now Vinny, you can try it on me. We'll take a standard uh, position for right now. And I'll give you a little bit of resistance. Show that you can get into my shoulders so that we see what that looks like. Okay. And now do uh, my hips. Yep. Okay. Now, for T-Fung, gently reach down through my feet, underneath my root, lift and release. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Little, little gurry there, but uh, that's okay. So Vinny is one of my newer students at the time that we're making this video, and he is working on his root capacity. So... This, of course, begs the question, what do you do if somebody is trying to T-Fung you? So, give it a shot. Okay. Yeah. So, do you know what's happening? Yeah, I feel you getting lower. As I'm going lower, you're going lower. Yes, yes. So, I'm softening. So, here's my root. Here's Vinny's root. I feel Vinny trying to sink underneath me, and I'm going, oh, I'm not going to let that happen. And I drop a whole bunch more root, leaving him kind of in the dust with where he's currently at with his root capacity and root skill. Okay, so for the purpose of the video, we're trying to be really obvious about what is happening. If we're just going to play, and you want to use T-Funk, so it will just flow here. If we're just going to play, obviously you would not want your opponent or partner to know that you are underneath their root and that you're feeling into their feet and that you're just going to lift and move them away. Okay, so you would be very soft and proper Tai Chi about it. So one of the other things that can happen is your partner could have very similar root capacity to you where you can't really get underneath and T-Fung them. So what happens then frequently is that you can get into their feet and when people are training root, Frequently, they're making the mistake of their uh, feet being stagnant and stuck to the floor. And also, I should mention ankles as well. Kind of assume that the ankles are open and moving, but worth mentioning. So, you want your feet to be alive and to be able to slip any attack that's coming at them. But if your feet are plastered to the floor and someone comes down on them at whatever angle they can feel works, they can peel you up off the floor. 
but you want to be able to slip that very much like you would slip up here. So if he puts his hand on my chest and I don't slip this, off I go. But if he does that again and I'm able to slip, I would do the exact same thing in my feet. Okay? So not stagnant, feet are not stagnant. So let's show that. So I want you to, I'm going to give you some resistance. I want you to just go down into my feet and trap them. Yep. And now peel me up off. Yes. So he's in my feet. He's not below my root. He's got my feet. They're plastered to the floor and he's moving me. So now I'm going to exaggerate this a bit. Watch my feet as he tries to peel me up. I'm moving and I'm slipping his attacks. Go ahead. Keep going. Yep. And you can see my feet are moving and I'm actually moving them a fair amount more than you would probably have to, but I want to be very obvious about it for the point of the video. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, one of the things that you might be seeing is this coming up a bit and you might mistake that not knowing better watching a video that I'm rising up and that's not the case. It may look as if you could shoot root down underneath this, maybe in the shape of a shovel, and peel me up off the floor. But that's not what's going on inside my shoes. The balls of my feet, the bubbling well, and the heel or heels are all nailed to the ground. And actually, if he tries to target that, it can make him vulnerable. And I will, I'll try to show you how. So we're just going to play, and you're going to try to target coming underneath my feet and peeling me up. And you see what it does to him. It makes him vulnerable if I keep myself together. So I've got root depth. I've got width across the floor. And if he tries to go for something he perceives as a gap, it can make him vulnerable. By the way, this does graduate to moving step. So as I've mentioned, a lot of the internal skills really, really are best transmitted to a student directly. You need to feel a teacher or another practitioner that can actually do the skill. When you feel it, then it's much more likely that it clicks and you'll know what to work on. If you'd like to feel T-Fung from me, I will be at Clear's Internal Push Hands Camp. That is Wednesday, August 22nd through Sunday, August 26th. And you will learn a ton there. You'll learn Clear's Internal Push Hands Method. And there's a whole bunch of skill sets that go along with it that you don't typically find or that are harder to understand in the more traditional push hands method where you're moving back and forth like this and getting out of the way and Clear's Internal Push Hands hands, you're in Wuchi, right up against your partner, and everything is done very internally. It's a whole different method that will really increase your Tai Chi. All the information and registration links are at clearstaichi.com. Also joining us will be a couple of other of our senior instructors from Michigan, Greg Nolmeyer, from Florida, Daniel Stringer, the newest member of our family, Lester Holmes, will also be joining us, and of course, Sifu Clear. All right. If you'd like to find me and you're in the uh, New Jersey, New York City metro area, go on to Facebook and look for New Jersey Tai Chi. Thank you.